Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is leaders in an array. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. So, what does question say? It says that given an array capital A of positive integers, your task is to find leaders in the array. An element of array is leader if it is greater than or equal to all the elements to its right side. Till rightmost element is always a leader. So, basically what it says is, in the input we are given an array which is capital A and this contains only positive integers. Now in this array we need to find all the leader elements. Now when do we say an element is a leader element? We say an element is a leader element if it is greater than or equal to as compared to all the elements on its right hand side. Okay. So basically the ith element which is nothing but a i we say this is a leader element if a of i is greater than or equals to a of j for all j from i plus 1 to n minus 1. So for index i all the elements on its right hand side are from index i plus 1 to n minus 1. If a of i is greater than or equal to all of these elements then we can say ith element is a leader element. So basically we want to, uh, our answer should contain all the leader elements of the given array. And since the rightmost element which is at index n minus 1 does not have any element further on its right, we consider that as leader element always. So a of n minus 1 is considered a leader element always. Okay. Now let's read further. So if we look, then we have, give, have been given an example array a contains a 16 17 4 3 5 2 okay so array a contains 16 17 4 3 5 2 we need to return all the leader elements of this array is the 16 a leader element no because it is not greater than or equal to as compared to all the elements on its right hand side 17 is greater than 16 so this is not a leader element is 17 a leader element yes because it is greater than or equal to as compared to all the elements on its right hand side. Is 4 a leader element? No, because we have an element 5 which is greater than 4 and it is on the right hand side of 4. Is 3 a leader element? No, because 5 is greater than 3. Is 5 a leader element? Yes, because it is greater than or equal to as compared to 2. Is 2 a leader element? Yes, it is the rightmost element. So our answer is 17, 5 and 2. Okay. Let's read further. So basically here the answer is 17, 5 and 2. This is the second example. Here the leader elements are 4 and 0. Here our task is to complete the function leader which takes array A and A, the size of the array N as input parameters and return an array of leaders in order of their appearance. Okay, this is also important. So here the leader elements are 17, 5, 2. But if I return 5, 17, 2, this will not be the correct answer because I need to return them in their order of appearance in the original array. 17 appears first, then 5, then 2. So it should be in this order only. Okay. What does it further say? Expected time complexity is big of n and expected auxiliary space is also big of n and the constraints are then given. Now, if we think about the solution to this problem, one very simple brute force approach can be what? We can for every index i, we can loop over all the elements from i plus 1 to n minus 1. And if there is even a single element which is greater than a of i, then a of i can't be a leader element. So basically for every index i, we will loop from i plus 1 to n minus 1 and check whether all the elements are less than or equal to a of i. If it, uh, if it is true for all the elements, then our a of i is leader element, otherwise it is not. If it is a leader element, we can add into our answer list. But here we will require to use two for loops because the outer for loop will go from i equals to 0 to n minus 1 and for every index i we will check for all the elements on its right hand side. So the inner for loop will go from i plus 1 to n minus 1 and then here we will do the checking and all. So this will take big O of n square time and it will give time limit exceeded. We need to think something better. So now if we think about the efficient approach, then 
if we read the uh, definition of leader what is a leader element it is an element whose value is greater than or equal to as compared to all the elements on its right hand side so what i can do is i can start moving from index n minus 1 towards index 0 from right to left and at each index if i write down the suffix maximum element for that index what is suffix maximum element so for index i the suffix maximum element the suffix would be from index i to index n minus 1 and the maximum element for that suffix would be the maximum element from index i to index n minus 1 which i would note down at index i and this i will do this i can do using one for loop so if i move from back from index n minus 1 to index 0 and if at each index i write down the suffix maximum element for that index if that index is equal to the current index element that is a of i it will be a leader element for example here we have the array 16 17 4 3 5 2 here if i write down the array suffix what will this contain suffix of i suffix of i will contain the max element out of a of i a of i plus 1 up to a of n minus 1 so basically from this suffix array it will take the maximum element and will store it index i so what i can do is here the largest element would be 2 now for this suffix the largest element would be 5 now for this suffix the largest element would again be 5 for this suffix the largest element would again be 5 for this suffix the largest element would be 17 and for this suffix or the whole array the largest element would be 17 now for all the indexes where suffix of i is equals to a of i that is year year and year are leader elements because what is suffix i suffix i is the maximum value element in the suffix from index i to index n minus 1 if it is the maximum value element and if it is equal to a of i like here what does that mean it means that for this suffix this is the largest value which is at that index only it means that it would be greater than or equal to as compared to all the elements on its right so it is a leader element now how can we generate the suffix array using one for loop for suffix n minus 1 suffix n minus 1 would be nothing but a of n minus 1 and for the remaining elements for i equals to n minus 2 to 0 suffix of i would be nothing but maximum of current element that is a of i comma suffix of i plus 1 did you got this see the last element would be at the position suffix n minus 1 now if i am talking about suppose till here i have calculated the suffix values okay so for here i have suffix of i plus 1 which is nothing but the maximum value in this uh, array part okay in this suffix now for this index what would be the maximum value in this part it is nothing but the maximum value out of this and out of the maximum value of this so it can be suffix of i plus 1 or a of i because suffix of i plus 1 already gives me the maximum element in this range if i compare it with the current element out of those two whichever would be the maximum that would be suffix of i so suffix of i is maximum of suffix of i plus 1 and a of i so in this way using only one for loop i'll get my uh, suffix array then what we can do we can traverse the suffix array and all those for all those indexes where suffix of i equals to a of i which means they are leader elements we will push into the answer vector and will return it now let's look at its actual implementation so if we talk about the actual implementation what i have done here is i have taken a vector answer which i will be returning i have uh, taken one suffix array which would store the uh, for i th index it would store the maximum element from index i to index n minus 1 so initially suffix of n minus 1 is nothing but a of n minus 1 
एंड फॉर आई इक्वल्स टू एन माइनस टू टू जीरो सफिक्स ऑफ आई इज मैक्स ऑफ ए ऑफ आई एंड सफिक्स ऑफ आई प्लस वन देन आई ट्रावर्स दी एरे एंड इफ ए ऑफ आई इज इक्वल्स टू इज इक्वल्स टू सफिक्स ऑफ आई विच मीन्स इट हैज द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू आउट ऑफ ऑल दी एरे एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम आई टू एन माइनस वन विच मीन्स इट इज अ लीडर एलिमेंट आई विल पुश दैट इन टू द आंसर एंड फाइनली आई विल रिटर्न दी आंसर वट वुड बी द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी यर आई एम यूजिंग सम फोर लूप्स वन एंड टू सो इट वुड बी बिग ऑफ एन and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space would also be go of n because i am using an suffix array of size n and i am also using a vector uh, answer which may contain maximum which may contain maximum n elements so auxiliary space is also big of n and time complexity is also big of n now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this question successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you